am Siddhi Pawar and I welcome you all to my channel. Moving to our revision series, Pathology, Respiratory System, the next topic is Lung Abscess. The definition, Lung Abscess is actually a localized area of necrosis of lung tissue with separation. And it is of two types, the primary lung abscess and the secondary lung abscess. Primary lung abscess that develops in an otherwise normal lung and the commonest cause is aspiration of the infected material. The secondary lung abscess, it develops as a complication of some other disease of the lung or from the another side. Then again, according to the competencies, we will be studying etiopathogenesis, morphology and complications. So etiopathogenesis, etiology, the microorganisms commonly isolated from the lung in lung abscess are the streptococci, staphylococci and various gram-negative organisms. Now these are introduced into the lungs by various mechanisms and these mechanisms are enlisted here. So first is the aspiration of the infected foreign material. A number of foreign materials like food decaying teeth, gastric contents, severely infected gingiva and teeth and necrotic tissues from the lesions in the mouth, upper respiratory tract or the nasopharynx may be aspirated. Now this occurs particularly in favorable circumstances such as during sleep or in altered senses or unconsciousness, then the anesthesia, general debility and acute alcoholism. Second, Second mechanism is preceding bacterial infection. Preceding bronchopneumonia in a debilitated patient may develop into lung abscess. Other infective conditions like tuberculosis, bronchiectasis and mycotic infections may occasionally result in the formation of the lung abscess. Third is bronchial obstruction. An abscess may form distal to an obstructed bron bronchus such as the bronchial tumor or from some impacted foreign body. Septic embolism Infected emboli originating from pyemia, thrombophlebitis or from vegetative bacterial endocarditis may be disseminated in the venous circulation and this can reach the right side of the heart and from there they are lodged into the lung and they will result in multiple abscesses. Lastly, there are miscellaneous causes. These miscellaneous causes include infection and pulmonary infarcts, then amoebic abscesses due to the infection with the entamoeba histolytica, trauma to the lungs, or the direct extension from the superative focus in the mediastinum, esophagus, subphrenic area, or the spine. Next is the location of the abscesses. Now the common location of lung abscesses of primary and secondary are uh, a bit different. Primary lung abscesses are mostly single, large and commonly due to aspiration. And they are located most frequently in the lower part of the right upper lobe or the apex of the right lower lobe. Whereas secondary lung abscesses, they are mostly multiple, small and they are most commonly post-pneumonic or following the septic embolism and you can see they are in the lower lobe. Morphology Now the abscesses due to aspiration which we can see in the primary lung abscesses in that these aspiration um, abscesses are most likely to be in the right lung due to more vertical main bronchus and are frequently single now, as I've already said, the location is given in the diagram here. Then the abscesses developing from the preceding pneumonia or the septic or pyemic abscesses are multiple and scattered as shown here and the location is shown here. Then gross appearance. Grossly, the abscesses may be of variable sizes from few millimeters to large cavities of 5 to 6 centimeter in diameter. And these cavities often contain the exudate. An acute lung abscess is initially surrounded by the acute pneumonia and has poorly defined ragged walls whereas with passage of time you can see this abscess will become chronic and it will develop fibrous wall. Histologically, 
the characteristic feature of the destruction of the lung parenchyma with suppurative exudate in the lung cavity this characteristic feature is of the lung abscess then the cavity is initially surrounded by the acute inflammation in the wall but later on this will be replaced by the chronic inflammatory cell infiltrate and this infiltrate is composed of the lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages in more chronic cases you will see the complications like you will see the considerable fibroblastic proliferation occurring and this proliferation will lead to fibrocollagenic wall sometimes you can see the secondary amyloidosis also so these are the complications and finally the clinical features the clinical manifestations include the fever malaise loss of weight cough purulent expectoration and hemoptysis in half of the cases clubbing and coming of fingers and toes will also occur it might appear in 20% of cases yes and as we know second j amyloidosis may occur in chronic long standing cases and that could be a clinical manifestation too so this is it for lung abscess thank you and see you in the next session